This is part two of our three-part series of how to fix your arm swing mechanics. Today, in this video, we are gonna cover how to throw, proper body sequencing, and how to hit with power. Learning an arm swing from scratch can be pretty tough. So a lot of times whenever we're coaching somebody in person, we go back to things that we know people have done before in their life. Most of us have thrown a ball of some sort, whether it's playing catch out in your backyard or if you're hanging out with your friends and you're throwing a football at the beach. Whenever we're thinking about the arm swing for an attack, most of the time we will have our players start by learning how to throw a ball. I know that that sounds a little elementary, but as you'll be able to see, the arm swings for throwing are almost identical to the arm swings with attacking. I wanna set myself up for the exact mechanics that we talked about before with Mark, where we're talking about keeping our, our hip forward and also opening up, which is going to be exactly how you throw. So one thing that I want you guys to all try with me right now, if you have a partner, or if you have a wall at your house, is I want you to make both of your feet face where you plan on throwing. Okay, for me, I'm on the volleyball court, and I plan on throwing this ball cross court over the net. Okay, so both of my feet are facing the other side of the net. I'm gonna start off with the tennis ball. I'm here, I'm holding the tennis ball in my throwing hand or in my attacking hand, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to practice that same motion that we practiced before, where I'm pushing my right hip forward, I'm opening up my back shoulder, and then I'm going to practice this throw where I'm going over the net, okay? If you do this 10 times, then you'll start to get the muscle memory for throwing. So once again, I'm here, I'm pushing my right hip forward as I'm drawing back, I'm opening up my chest, I'm pulling my hitting arm back, and then I'm throwing this ball forward. All the mechanics that we talked about with hitting you should be seeing this as I'm throwing as well. I'll give you a couple live action so that you guys can see what it looks like. One thing that your body is naturally going to want to do, because that's how you actually were taught to throw, is you're going to allow this elbow to be out. That is the one switch that we're going to make to your throwing styles. We wanna make sure, like Mark said before, that we're focusing on getting this elbow as close to your ears as possible. So it is gonna feel a little different, but I promise you it's gonna help your arm swing. So I'm here, I'm opening up, my elbow's coming close to my head, and then I'm throwing that ball. This is also going to help me make sure that I'm reaching high and my contact is going to be very, very high. One question we get a lot is why are my hips facing forward? And the reason that we're doing that is because in order for us to fix our arm swing, we have to become more flexible in areas that are stopping our arm swing from being successful as it is. So when we are approaching, yes, we're going to end with our last two steps, which is automatically going to open up our body a little bit more, but if we rely on that, then we're not actually getting more flexible and using that tension to add power and quickness to our attack. So for the sake of this workout, you're going to be making sure that both of your hips are forward because that is going to give you the most stretch possible so that when you're in a game-like situation, you have all that power. Most people, they come to me and they say, man, I can't hit hard. I don't know how to hit hard. I wanna hit harder, harder, harder. And when we think about hard, right, we start flexing muscles. And that is not what we wanna do. Arm speed comes from flexibility and speed, right? So the hardest hits, the biggest bounces, are when your arm is moving the fastest, not when you're swinging the hardest. So one of the best things that I can tell you to increase your arm speed is to swing fast and loose. You want this to feel really noodly, and at the top of your swing, you want to imagine that you're not actually hitting the ball. You're just moving your arm as fast as you can through space, and the ball just kind of gets in the way. Most people see the ball and they just try to hit the ball and they stop there, right? If you know any like good boxers, you know? I don't know if you know any. Not out here. Yeah. <laughs> but they would say like, 
punch through something in order to do real damage. You don't just stop on contact, right? If you want to break through that wood, if you're in karate, you want to break through the wood, you have to swing through it. Same thing happens in volleyball. You have to hit through the ball and not hit at the ball. So loose and fast is the way to go if you want to hit with power. Now when we're hitting shots, it's a totally different sensation because you're not going to be hitting through the ball. You're actually going to be stopping at the face, right? If I want to do damage to something, I want to hit through it. If I want to hit with power, I hit through it. If I want to swing at a golf ball or a baseball, everything is going through contact and that's how I generate power. Now, when I'm placing the ball, imagine like bunting, right, in baseball, you just sort of angle it and you touch it just right at the face. You don't bunt by pushing through it. Same thing happens with shots, except in volleyball, we have to keep the defense on their heels. So we have to move our arm fast until the bunt contact, right? Bunting in baseball, you hold it out there. We don't want to do that in volleyball. Here, we want to show them that we're swinging and then just stop at the right angle. And if you see any pros or high level players continue their arm swing through it, that's just a relaxed phase. But all the power and speed generation only comes into the face of the ball and that's where it stops. So we teach a lot of our players to stop their hand and let it hang, a little Steph Curry, let it hang after they hit their shots. So next time you're going out to practice your cut shots and high lines, speed to the face of the ball and then see if you can let your hand just hang up there when you want to hit a shot. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you happen to miss part one of our three-part series, make sure you go back and check that out. And if you want to come over to betteratbeach.com, we have a full-on attacking course for you, which lays out all of your drills and all videos that are going to help you become a better attacker, including strategy, how to hit, when to hit, so that it opens up your the rest of your offensive skills. Really encourage you to check that out. It's like these videos, but times 10. And if you keep complaining about arm pain or arm strength, make sure you go to betteratbeach.com and check out our how to fix your arm swing in 10 days. We've had a couple clients already do this and it is leading to less pain and more power. So go ahead and check out that product. It's guaranteed to help you out. Video three is going to be living on betteratbeach.com in our continued learning library for our elite performers tribe. So if you want to check out part three of this three-part series, sign up for that elite performers tribe on betteratbeach.com and you'll get this plus a ton more content where everything that we build and come out with new, you're going to find it in there. We'll see you there.